A couple with a family history of genetic disorder will receive information from a genetic counsellor. In this case, the couple needs IVF so that eggs can be fertilised outside the woman's body and then tested for genetic abnormalities so that only healthy embryos will be used. The role of the counsellor is to explain this, as well as any risks associated with the procedure. A self-administered daily injection is given for two weeks to suppress the woman's natural menstrual cycle. Then, during the next 12 days, a follicle-stimulating hormone is injected daily to increase the number of oocytes, the number of eggs produced in her ovaries. About 36 hours before oocyte collection, an injection of human chorionic gonadotrophin will be given to the woman. This is an analogue of luteinizing hormone. Between 10 and 30 oocytes will then be collected by an ultrasound-guided needle inserted into the vagina through the vaginal wall and into each ovary. Oocytes and sperm are mixed in a petri dish and cultured in a lab for about 16 to 20 hours. They are then checked using a microscope to see which oocytes have been fertilized and which resulting zygotes have undergone cleavage to become embryos. In some cases, a sperm is injected into the oocyte. This is called intracytoplasmic spermatozoan injection, also known as ICSI. Zygotes undergo mitosis and cleavage to become embryos. The resulting cells inside embryos are called blastocytes. One or two cells can be removed from an eight-cell embryo for pre-implantation genetic testing. There are three types of testing. First, there is PGS, or pre-implantation genetic screening. The second type is PGD, or pre-implantation genetic diagnosis. The third type is called pre-implantation tissue typing. Pre-implantation genetic screening involves checking for chromosomal abnormalities, such as Down syndrome. This is properly known as trisomy 21 and has an extra chromosome 21. Pre-implantation genetic diagnosis can be used to test for many inherited conditions. DNA is first extracted from the two embryonic cells. The DNA is then amplified using the polymerase chain reaction so that there is enough of it to test. In clinics that have a license from the Human Fertility and Embryo Authority, the DNA is analyzed using restriction enzymes and gel electrophoresis. This process helps to avoid passing familial inherited disorders to the couple's children by identifying the embryos free of genetic disorders. The mother is given hormone treatment to prepare her uterine lining so that it will allow the healthy three to six day old embryos to implant. After the pregnancy, a healthy baby is born.